Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to include this before this video started because I'm obviously not living under a rock. I'm very aware of everything that is going on in the world right now. And honestly, it's been very heavy on me today. And I haven't really been in the best mental state because life is just scary right now. And I can't even imagine what the people of Ukraine are currently going through and i can't even this whole thing just feels like a dream so it doesn't even feel real and i just wanted to include this because i don't want to be insensitive to these things obviously this video is about perfumes like nothing literally nothing compared to what's going on but you know my channel is kind of a way of an escape i just want to leave it to be a positive channel where you can kind of escape from reality but I will have links of ways that you can help the people of Ukraine. Obviously, there's not much we can do, but even the smallest things can make a big change. So I will leave links of ways that you can help. Just check those out, please. Like that is the least that we can do. So in today's video, I finally have another pretty large celebrity perfume haul to share with you guys. It's been a minute since I've shared with you any new celebrity perfumes or honestly any celebrity perfumes for that matter. So I'm really excited to get into this video because I know you guys always love the celebrity perfumes because they're affordable, they smell great usually so i have six new celebrity perfumes to share with you today i'm gonna go as far as to say these perfumes are more i guess more rare fragrances that are basically just not really that talked about or hyped up on youtube and i love shedding light on fragrances like this because i feel like the best types of fragrances are the ones that are not even mentioned they're not your typical celebrity perfumes they have that unique factor that a lot of celebrity perfumes nowadays just don't really have by the way i am sunburnt my chest is like a tomato right now so let's ignore that before we get into this video as per usual please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let me show you these amazing new celebrity perfumes so i get some of the best recommendations for perfumes from you guys you always leave me in the comments new perfumes to try out and this was definitely one that i don't think i had heard anybody ever mention this perfume i didn't even know this existed i didn't know this celebrity made perfumes this is Diamante, I think, by Daddy Yankee. Who had any idea that Daddy Yankee made a perfume? I did not, but I believe there was a couple of you that kept recommending this to me. I've kind of lost track of the comment at this point, but if it was you that recommended this perfume to me, please let everybody know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure your comment was something along the lines of like, you get a ton of compliments on this perfume and nobody knows about it, but you think it's amazing. So I was like, okay, that's all I need. And she actually told me to find this on Amazon. So I looked it up and sure enough, it was super affordable. So I just pulled up my Amazon app. This is currently $12.55. So $12 for this 3.4 bottle of perfume and for as affordable as it was I was like if this is as good as she's saying it is I was like I need that and when I looked up the notes everything was just so right up my alley Which is why I went ahead and ordered this. This is what the packaging looks like. Honestly mm, not the most expensive looking thing out there it looks kind of tacky it actually comes with like a little bracelet that you can like take off and you can literally like wear you know i don't know if i'm ever going to actually wear it but it comes with a bracelet so that's cute i guess mm, but the scent of this is so pretty i'm not gonna say that this is the most unique most amazing perfume out there in the world but it smells good and for $12, it smells really, really good. This has top notes of tropical fruit, passion fruit, middle notes of jasmine and honeysuckle and base notes of sandalwood, vanilla and amber. Other than that honeysuckle note, literally every single one of those notes are like so right up my alley. Not a huge fan of honeysuckle, but in this I don't really smell it, but I do smell everything else. I don't know if it's just me, but this kind of gives me a little bit of like a peppery vibe, like almost like a little bit of spice to it. So this starts off very tropical, very fruity, not in like a beachy way, but like a tropical vacation. You're drinking like a tropical drink. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it just has like those bright, fruity summer vacation vibes when you first spray it out. I don't really ever get the florals in here. I'm just getting like a fruity fragrance with like a vanilla woody dry down and those are my favorite types of fragrances. It smells so good. I swear I can smell some sort of peppery note in here. I don't know what's up with my nose, but every time I go to smell this, I get like 
kind of like a spice note almost like i'm smelling like literal pepper which i don't mind maybe it's the sandalwood that's kind of giving off that vibe but i really like it i think the sandalwood really elevates this perfume as i think sandalwood does with a lot of perfumes because sandalwood is just such a rich scent and it depends on how much of it is in a perfume this one has like a really really mild amount of it that just kind of mixes with that vanilla creating such a nice sweet woody sexy type of base i feel like this is a really good sort of like everyday scent like i said it's not the most amazing thing out there that you're ever gonna smell but if you're into sweeter scents i think you're gonna really enjoy it there's kind of like it's like sweet and fresh in a kind of way like it's not so cloying sweet sweet down your throat it's like just the perfect amount of everything to me it does give off like a bit of a sexy vibe and overall i really like this i'm not like in love head over heels like it didn't wow me like knock my socks off type of thing but i will definitely be wearing this because i like the scent i really really like the scent and for 12 dollars, you really cannot go wrong especially because you get so much of it it's fruity sweets anything that a sweet lover would want out of a perfume the only thing i will say this does not really last which is kind of the case with a lot of celebrity perfumes it's not an every celebrity perfume but a lot of them just seem to not have good performance and this one included i would say on me this lasts like max two to three hours and that's even pushing it you could definitely help this out by layering it that will definitely prolong the wear time on this but if you wanted to wear that alone just a warning it's not the longest lasting perfume ever i think if you are somebody that likes scents like viva la juicy the justin bieber perfumes a lot of ariana grande perfumes and then that is like the safest blind buy ever because that falls into that kind of genre of perfume so the next one is a paris hilton perfume Paris Hilton perfumes are kind of hit or miss for me anyways. There's a lot of them that I really, really love. And then there's a lot that kind of fall short for me. There's things that I don't really like. A lot of her scents she makes very like on the fresher side, almost like body spray. A lot of them just smell very synthetic to me and kind of cheap. But I picked up this one. This is called Just Me and it actually came in this little sleeve i picked this up at burlington as you can tell and this was 19.99 for the 3.400 ml bottle so just me honestly from the packaging i was like mm, that's giving off very cheap vibes like body spray vibes i mean if you look at this bottle i don't think you would think much but tell me why lately i don't know if it's because we're going into the springtime i don't know if it's because during the fall and winter i wore so many like super super sweet fragrances thicker fragrances heavier fragrances that now all i crave to wear these days are like fresher florals like pretty florals with like a little bit of sweetness after i take a shower i just find myself going into my perfume collection and i'm like just craving something that will kind of uplift me and it's not gonna weigh me down i don't know if it's just because i'm so sick and tired of the fall and winter and i'm just ready to get into the warmer months but i've been going for fragrances like this and this was a blind buy obviously i bought it at burlington i had no idea what this smelled like of course i did my research on it when i was in the store and i went on fragrantica i checked out the notes it seemed like it was kind of my style but it also didn't this perfume to me smells like a scent that would come out of lancome or estee lauder even dior i feel like this is a fragrance that just doesn't look like it's a diamond but it's a diamond the top notes in here are pink pepper raspberry violet and bergamot middle notes of white rose freesia iris lily of the valley and ylang ylang with base notes of woodsy notes sandalwood musk and tahitian vanilla obviously when i read the notes i was like okay i really like that it starts off like your typical fruity floral type of fragrances ends off on kind of like a woody musky vanilla kind of notes and a lot of perfumes kind of start out that way and that way and so I, f I had a feeling i would most likely really like this which is why i picked it up and for 19.99 i was like eh, i'll try it out if you go on fragrantica and you take a look at the this perfume reminds me section the number one scent that this is compared to and kind of known to be a really good dupe of is lancome miracles and that's kind of what i was saying like this really reminds me of a lancome scent and i think that this is so well done and and it smells like a high-end perfume in a very low-end perfume bottle this scent is so pretty this to me does not smell 
like a celebrity perfume it has a very floral fresh type of vibe to it of course there's a hint of fruitiness as well it always just keeps like a really uplifting vibe it's like airy it's pretty it's fresh it's a flirty pretty type of scent a scent that you wear on an everyday basis a scent that you wear when you're fresh out the shower a scent that you wear in like the dead of summer when it's like 300 degrees outside and you just don't want to be weighed down by a strong type of scent this has such a freshness to it that it almost kind of like cools you off it has a really really flirty vibe i wouldn't say sexy but very feminine and flirty you know like good girl type of scent that's basically all i can really say about it it still has a sweetness but not like a cloying sweet overly sweet anything like that i would definitely categorize this as a fresh fruity floral type of scent like i said super pretty and flirty don't be fooled by this questionable looking packaging that just looks very tacky maybe cheap I'm definitely happy that i picked this up because i definitely see myself reaching for this a ton in the spring and summer it's very fruity floral but that kind of peppery undertone is always there it just elevates it even more i can't really describe it it's a, such a pretty scent and i think the lasting power on this is actually really really good i actually wore it the day that i bought it and i could smell it throughout the day on my skin and never really left it has pretty decent projection and it wears beautifully if you like scents like miracle by lancome bright crystal from versace i think this falls somewhere in between those scents so if those are scents you go for i think you would really really love just me by paris Hilton. next scent is a scent that's been in my collection for such a long time and for some reason i thought that i showed this scent to you guys but apparently i never did and i have a little bit of history with this scent because i guess i thought i showed it to you guys because i put it straight onto my mercari i didn't even give this fragrance a chance to like wear it i think i just smelled it once and i was like oh, i don't really care for it and i listed it on my mercari without ever actually wearing it or testing it out i don't know what i was thinking but anyways just the other day i was going through my scents that i have listed on my mercari i'll link my mercari in the description if you're interested i think currently i have a few fragrances on there but I kind of go through those fragrances every once in a while because I'm like, do I really want to sell this? And that's what I was doing with this fragrance. So like I said, I only ever sprayed this out once and I was revisiting all of those fragrances and I looked at this and I was like, let me just spray that out again. I spray it out and I just get like the prettiest burst of sexy woody and i was like why did i list this on my mercari i actually think this is so good and i basically deactivated it on my mercari so this is not on my mercari anymore i didn't even say what this fragrance is called this is true reflection from kim kardashian so this is the fragrances that she came out before she had kkw and this is what true reflection looks like there's actually another fragrance i believe that is in this exact same packaging which i think is called pure honey i've seen that fragrance a lot at burlington i've just never picked it up i did find this one at burlington but i did find it a while ago so i'm not sure if it's there anymore but i will have it linked down below if you want to purchase it online this is a very unique strange scent this smells so good it gives me an oriental vibe it's very spicy it's very kind of animalic and that's why i think i just kind of didn't really give this the time of day when i first sprayed it out because i just wasn't that impressed until i actually sprayed it on my skin and i gave this a chance and it wore so beautifully on my skin i cannot even describe this scent. i hate the bottle it's so hard to kind of get a grip i just don't like bottles like this it's really hard to get a grip of the fragrance and spray it out it just like slides off of your hands as you're trying to spray it okay at first it starts off really strong and you're like whoa like that is like pure alcohol i don't like that scent but you have to let this dry down and you have to just let this transform into what it really is this fragrance has top notes of plum peach bergamot middle notes of orchid gardenia and lotus with base notes of patchouli woodsy notes and musk this fragrance kind of reminds me of rihanna's rebel fleur it kind of falls in that kind of category it's definitely a stronger scent it has a lot of sweetness to it but it definitely has that patchouli in here and i think that's kind of what scared me off in the beginning and i was like whoa i don't like that that's a lot of patchouli but this gets better after the dry down like you know there's a dry down after the dry down like once the fragrance has fully dried down then you give it a few 
minutes, maybe even an hour or so, and it like has fully, fully dry down, that's when this kind of flourishes. Like you have to give this a chance to really settle on your skin and then you can kind of figure out whether you like this or not. Because when you first spray it out, it's like, whoa, that's too much. It's too much woodiness. It's too much patchouli. It's too loud. It's too in your face, kind of cloying. And once the base really dries down, like the patchouli woodsy notes, that muskiness, you kind of get that plum sort of scent come back. Like you get a sweetness to it come back. And it's so beautiful. I get also a scent of orchid in here. Not so much any gardenia. I would say the standout notes in this fragrance for me are plum, orchid, and a mix of a woody slash patchouli kind of vibe. It has almost like a, a spice. Like I said, it has that oriental feel to it. And it's really unique. It's very, very sexy. It's a darker fragrance as the bottle kind of suggests. A fragrance that this also really reminds me of is the original Jimmy Choo fragrance by Jimmy Choo. It reminds me so much of it because the patchouli that is in here is the same kind of patchouli that is done in the original Jimmy Choo. As you guys know, the original Jimmy Choo has a ton of patchouli in it, but it has like this strange um sweetness to it as well and that's kind of like what this smells like to me it reminds me of that it honestly also reminds me a lot of into the night by bath and body works so i'm just trying to kind of name off a few fragrances so you could kind of get a feel of what this fragrance smells like but again definitely to get those kinds of scents you have to let this really really settle down on your skin before you can make your final judgments about it that is true reflection by kim kardashian speaking of kim kardashian this is another OG Kim in the era before KKW existed um, fragrance. So this is the gold Kim Kardashian scent. I believe in the same exact packaging, she released a pink one. I'm not really sure what the name of that one is, but that one is kind of like the floral version of this. This one though, I don't know why I never picked this up. I actually ended up finding this at TJ Maxx for like 16 bucks, so inexpensive. This is what this fragrance looks like. Oh, this is also so sexy and dark. Definitely date night, you can wear this to a club. It gives us those dark, sexy, provocative, raunchy type of sexy vibes. So gold is basically like an ambery, woody, spicy, citrusy kind of dark, thick, scent that has also a good amount of patchouli in it but it's smooth patchouli and it's a kind of patchouli that doesn't really turn so dirty on your skin at least that's not what it does for me a lot of patchouli scents the reason why i don't like them is because the second i spray them on my skin and they dry down and that patchouli really hits it just turns so dirty on my skin and almost like musky, like a bad type of musk scent. In this one, the patchouli is very smooth, almost has like a creamy vibe. It has kind of like a balsamic vibe. We have top notes of grapefruit, bergamot, and pink pepper. Middle notes of jasmine, violet, and rose with base notes of amber, benzoin, patchouli, musk, and sandalwood. I think where this fragrance really shines is once you get the base notes. And that's kind of mostly what you smell because those top notes of the grapefruit bergamot you know that citrus type of opening mm, that doesn't really last but then the jasmine comes in the violet and you also get rose you get pretty much all those florals but then after that you get the base once you get the base you get such a rich amber scent you get that patchouli like i said in a really like creamy like i want to say creamy but like smooth and then you get a woody vibe and it's just so amazing this to me smells very complex it doesn't smell cheap at all which it is it's 16 bucks i hesitated getting this because when i was in the store kind of researching the notes of this scent i saw that one of the perfumes that this was compared to was glow after dark from jennifer lopez and if you watch my channel at all you know i made a whole video on perfumes that i hate and that was included it just smelled so foul to me like straight up i did not like it at all that's what i'm talking about when i say patchouli can be done in a way like this where it's so smooth and it just smells nice but then it can be done in a way that that fragrance is done and on me maybe it's just like a chemistry issue because on me that fragrance turns so dirty and so musky like almost like straight up bio whereas this one does exactly what it's supposed to do and it just smells smooth and sexy and dark and mysterious this is exactly what i wished 
glow after dark was going to smell like the rose and glow after dark also stood out to me a lot and it just smelled so vintage and so old school and it just way too dated honestly and just way too mature whereas this one is exactly what i want in a fragrance it doesn't smell dated it doesn't smell too mature it's mature but it's like sexy mature it's a good type of mature all we're on i just really enjoy this fragrance this is a fragrance i would wear going out going to a club going out to dinner something like that kind of like a nighttime occasion not so much like a daytime thing because that's a very dark heavy sexy type of scent so that is gold by kim kardashian next scent that i have here is fancy love by jessica simpson this fragrance and me go way back well not this one but the original fancy from jessica simpson this is what this fragrance looks like this gives me mm, vintage vibes for sure so i was kind of scared going into it I'm kind of scared going into this whole range or this whole line of flankers because you guys know I had a bit of a history with the original Fancy. If you watch my channel, at first I absolutely despised that scent. All I could smell was like the gardenia and it was just a weird mixture of sweet and floral but not in a good way. And then something happened to my nose. I ended up really liking the scent and now I wear it all the time. It kind of just smells more caramelly and sweet to me now. I don't really get that strong of that that gardenia note anymore that kind of got me curious to maybe try out some of the flankers to fancy and i stumbled across this one i saw this at ross i believe and i took a look at the notes and the notes really intrigued me because there is a unique note in this fragrance which is champagne so that kind of reeled me in i thought it was kind of unique it has top notes of champagne peach blossom bergamot middle notes of frangipani i never know how to say that frangipani frangipani i have no, no idea jasmine peony lotus and rose and base notes of amber musk woodsy notes and patchouli i don't know why but to me this kind of sounded a little bit more sexy than the original one so i really wanted to give it a try and i actually almost did not buy this because they had a body spray of this out and i kind of sprayed it out on my skin and i was like oh my god and i was with my mom and she smelled it too and she was like that literally smells like bathroom cleaner like it smells like a just freshly cleaned bathroom it just doesn't smell good at all and i agreed i was like why does that smell so weird i don't like that at all but i kept looking at the notes of this perfume and i was like that's not what i'm smelling in the body spray i was almost like second guessing myself i was like should i just buy the perfume like maybe the body spray is bad sometimes body sprays differ a little bit even if it's the same type of scent it's a different level like oil concentration so i was like let me just try it out like i really want to try this fragrance out i don't know why but i just really really wanted to actually smell the perfume and i'm really glad that i did and at first I got kind of scared because when I first sprayed it out, I was like, oh no, like I got that bathroomy kind of smell again. But now there's something about this scent that I really enjoy. I don't think that this is a safe blind buy. Like just being real, just being honest. This has a unique scent to it. And also, if you are somebody that, that loves the original Fancy and you're asking yourself, I love the original, should I maybe try a flanker out? I'm going to be real with you guys. This does not smell like the original Fancy. Not one bit. It has a completely different vibe. I do think that this is sexy. I think this is way sexier. This has a way more musky vibe, but it's in a good way. Almost soapy it almost smells really clean it's like a clean musk it's not a dirty musk which is good it does have a bit of like a retro vibe to it it's kind of mature but also not it's so hard for me to pinpoint this fragrance because every time i smell it i feel like i smell something different i don't smell the champagne note in here that champagne note in here kind of gives this like a very tart fruity almost citrusy vibe it doesn't actually give it like a boozy vibe that i kind of thought this fragrance would have going into it like just by reading the notes this reminds me a lot of oscar de la renta bella essence which i recently hauled and i really really enjoy that fragrance i will say that fragrance is a little bit more sweet than this one is this one is more clean musky almost a little soapy leading whereas bella essence has more vanilla to it and just a lot more sweetness overall and this one is way 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 more powdery which i think is what gives this like more of a mature feel but i think overall i do think that this is a sweet 
warm sexy musky type of vibe and i'm actually really enjoying this i will have to wear this more to really just get to know this fragrance a lot more but i'm actually really excited to keep wearing it and i do think it's a really pretty scent definitely does not give me typical celebrity vibes it's a lot more elevated it smells very unique like you have never smelled a celebrity scent that has been done like this one so that is fancy love by jessica simpson the very last fragrance i have to share with you is this one right here so i saw this at ross and of course had to snatch it up this is prerogative by britney spears so the reason why i bought this is because this fragrance smells very very similar to one of my favorite fragrances by britney spears which is private show i only own private show in a little rollerball but i love this scent it has such a strong coffee vibe to it but it's in like a cappuccino type of way and it's super super sweet and creamy like just coffee and cream kind of fragrance it has like a vanilla vibe it's sexy it's super pretty it's kind of like you walked into a coffee shop type of thing and this one intrigued me because one of the main fragrances that this was compared to was private show so i figured because i like this one i'd probably like prerogative this has top notes of apricot goji berries and pink pepper middle notes of coffee saffron and red lily and base notes of sandalwood and amberwood obviously i see why this has a strong resemblance to private show because it again has that coffee note i think if you have one of these you don't need the other because they smell that similar which is weird coming out of the same house like Britney Spears. Like, why did they make two scents that are so similar? This literally smells like private show to me. This is more of like, I would say a wintry scent. It has that like thick vibe. It has the warmth, so much warmth. It reminds me a lot, a lot, a lot of Black Opium by YSL. Like if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, this is definitely it. But private show also reminds me of Black Opium. I do think that this one is a little bit more similar to Black Opium though than private show is i would say that private show is kind of the tamer version of black opium whereas black opium would be like sexy woman this is black opium's little sister type of thing but this one gives me a little bit more sexiness it almost has like a chocolatey vibe i don't know how to describe it but i do think that this one has a little bit more darkness than private show if i could really like pinpoint a difference that's kind of like what it would be and i do think that this one smells a lot more like black opium then private show smells like black opium and i actually did find that this wore on me for a decent amount of time especially for a celebrity perfume it has like that coffee gourmand sweet type of feel like super super sugary almost like caramel it kind of just like envelops you in this sweet cloud it's definitely more of like a fall and winter scent if i could categorize this but obviously you can wear these types of scents all year round that is prerogative by britney spears so that concludes this video i hope you guys like these new celebrity perfumes let me know what you think of them let me know if you have any of these or if you're thinking of getting any of them let me know your thoughts in the comments below please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye